Born on February 1, 1971 in Raleigh, North Carolina, Michael Carlisle Hall was the only child of his parents. The son of an IBM employee and a mental health professional, his life was steeped in the quintessential southern charm of Raleigh. His father, William Carlisle Hall, worked diligently to provide for his family, while his mother, Janice Styans Hall, nurtured young Michael's mind, unknowingly laying the foundation for his future acting career. As an only child, Hall enjoyed the undivided attention of his parents, fostering a close-knit family bond that would serve as his support system in the years to come. Despite the untimely passing of his father when he was just 11, Hall persevered, carrying with him the resilience and strength his parents instilled in him. This seemingly ordinary childhood, filled with trials, love, and the simplicity of Raleigh life, marked the beginning of an extraordinary journey for Michael C. Hall. As a child, Hall demonstrated an early interest in storytelling and the performing arts. Growing up in Raleigh, North Carolina, he was captivated by the world of make-believe, with his imagination often taking center stage in his daily activities. This fascination was not confined to his solitary play, but extended to his interactions with friends and family, where he was known for his animated storytelling. His parents, recognizing his inclination towards the arts, enrolled him in local theater workshops and productions. These experiences allowed young Michael to explore his creative side nurturing his natural talent. He was not just content with being on stage, he was interested in all aspects of theatre, from lighting and sound to costume design. His childhood was marked by a deep curiosity and appreciation for the arts, often spending hours lost in a world of characters, narratives and performances. This passion, fostered from a young age, didn't fade but rather intensified as he grew older. This early exposure to the arts would lay the foundation for an illustrious career in acting. Hall's academic journey took him from Ravenscroft School to Earlham College, a liberal arts institution in Indiana. During his time at Earlham, Hall discovered a deep passion for acting. He found himself drawn to the stage, participating in numerous college productions and honing his craft. Upon graduation, Hall decided to take his passion for acting a step further, enrolling at the prestigious Tisch School of the Arts at New York University. Here, he was immersed in a rigorous program, studying acting in depth and gaining valuable stage experience. It was during these formative years that Hall began to develop his unique style, blending intensity with subtlety in his performances. After completing his Masters in Fine Arts, Hall was ready to step into the professional world of acting. He started his career on stage with a role in Macbeth at the Public Theatre in New York City. This was followed by a series of roles in off-Broadway productions, where Hall's performances began to draw attention. His breakthrough came in the late 90s when he was cast in the Broadway production of Cabaret, directed by Sam Mendes. Hall's portrayal of the MC was nothing short of mesmerizing, earning him critical acclaim and marking him as a rising star in the theatre world. This was quickly followed by a role in another Broadway hit, Chicago, where Hall played the smooth-talking lawyer, Billy Flynn. His performance once again drew rave reviews, solidifying his reputation as a formidable stage actor. But the world of television was calling, and Hall was soon to make a transition that would change his career forever. In the year 2001, he landed a role in the television drama Six Feet Under. His portrayal of David Fisher, a conflicted funeral home director, was universally praised and earned him an Emmy nomination. With a solid educational background, Hall was ready to make his mark in the world of acting. His early career, marked by a blend of theatre and television roles, showcased his versatility and set the stage for his future success. Hall's career took off with significant roles in theatre and television. His first major break came when he landed a role in the Broadway production of Cabaret, playing the flamboyant MC, a character that allowed him to showcase his versatility and charisma. Following this, Hall's career pivoted towards television, a transition that brought him into millions of living rooms around the world. He found success on the small screen with the show Six Feet Under, where he played the complex and conflicted character David Fisher. 
His nuanced performance earned him critical acclaim and an Emmy nomination, solidifying his reputation as a captivating performer. But it was the role of Dexter Morgan in the show Dexter that truly catapulted Hall into the spotlight. His portrayal of a forensics expert moonlighting as a serial killer was both chilling and compelling, earning him several award nominations and wins, including a Golden Globe. Yet, Hall's talents were not confined to the stage and television. He also ventured into film, taking on roles that demonstrated his expansive range. From the dramatic Kill Your Darlings to the darkly comedic Gamer, Hall continued to captivate audiences with his performances. Throughout his career, Hall has also been recognized for his contributions to the industry. In addition to his Golden Globe win, he's been honored with the Screen Actors Guild Award and received multiple Emmy nominations. He's been hailed for his ability to bring depth and complexity to every character he portrays, a testament to his dedication to his craft. But perhaps one of the most notable aspects of Hall's career is his ability to transform and adapt. From his roots in theatre to his successes in television and film, Hall has shown a remarkable ability to evolve with the industry. His varied roles and performances demonstrate his versatility a trait that has helped him carve a unique and enduring path in the world of entertainment. These pivotal roles set the stage for the most significant role of his career. As we'll see in the next section, it was the character of Dexter Morgan that would come to define Hall's career, marking a new chapter in his journey through the world of acting. In 2006, Hall took on a role that would forever define his career. Dexter Morgan. This character, a forensic blood spatter analyst for the Miami Metro Police Department who moonlights as a serial killer, was a sharp departure from the roles Hall had previously taken on. Dexter Morgan was an enigma, a character that defied conventional definitions of heroism and villainy. Michael C. Hall's portrayal of this complex character was nothing short of brilliant, with a nuanced performance that blended charm, menace and a dash of dark humor Hall brought Dexter Morgan to life in a way that was both chilling and compelling. The TV series Dexter soon became a cultural phenomenon, garnering critical acclaim and a dedicated fan base. It pushed the boundaries of conventional storytelling, posing difficult questions about morality, justice and the nature of evil. At the heart of it all was Hall's mesmerizing performance, but embodying Dexter Morgan was not without its challenges. The character's dual existence as a devoted family man and a deadly predator required Hall to navigate a tightrope of emotions. It was a demanding role that required immense skill and commitment. Yet Hall rose to the occasion, delivering a performance that was both captivating and hauntingly believable. Dexter catapulted Hall to new heights of fame and recognition. His portrayal of Dexter Morgan earned him numerous accolades, including a Golden Globe Award and a Screen Actors Guild Award. More than just awards, however, Hall's performance as Dexter Morgan cemented his status as a distinguished actor capable of tackling complex and challenging roles. Beyond awards and acclaim, Dexter had a significant impact on Hall's career trajectory. It broadened his artistic range opening up opportunities for him to explore a variety of roles in television, film and theatre. It also established him as a formidable talent in the industry, respected by peers and adored by audiences. The role of Dexter Morgan left an indelible mark on Hall's career and the television industry. His portrayal of a likeable serial killer pushed the envelope, challenging audiences to question their perceptions of morality and justice. Through his nuanced performance, Hall not only brought Dexter Morgan to life, but also left a lasting impact on the landscape of television drama. Off screen, Hall has faced personal challenges and triumphs. In the realm of relationships, Hall has walked down the aisle three times. His first marriage to actress Amy Spanger spanned from 2002 to 2006, coinciding with their shared stage experience in the Broadway production of Chicago. In 2008, Hall wed his Dexter co-star, Jennifer Carpenter, who played his on-screen sister. Their union, however, ended in 2011, but as they say, third time's a charm and Hall found lasting love with Morgan McGregor, a book reviewer and novelist. 
They married in 2016 and have been together since, but life hasn't always dealt Hall a hand of hearts. In 2010, he publicly announced his battle with Hodgkin's lymphoma, a type of cancer that originates from white blood cells. Hall's diagnosis came at the height of his Dexter fame, but he didn't let it overshadow his craft. He continued to work while undergoing treatment, even accepting a Golden Globe and Screen Actors Guild Award with a cap covering his treatment-induced hair loss. His battle with cancer, though gruelling, was one he ultimately won, announcing in April 2010 that he was in remission. Hall's resilience extends beyond his personal struggles to his commitment to advocacy. He's used his platform to raise awareness for various causes, notably serving as an ambassador for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. He's also lent his voice to environmental initiatives and LGBTQ plus rights, proving that his strength and compassion are not confined to the characters he portrays, but are integral parts of who he is. Through it all, Hall has shown remarkable resilience and strength. His life, marked by personal trials and triumphs, mirrors the complexity of the characters he embodies on screen. Whether it's navigating relationships, battling cancer, or standing up for causes he believes in, Hall's off-screen narrative is one of resilience, demonstrating that one's personal life, much like a well-crafted character, is a tapestry of triumphs, trials, and everything in between. Hall's life has not been without its share of trials and tribulations. Among these, he faced a formidable health scare in 2010 when he was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma, a type of cancer that starts in white blood cells. This was a near-death experience that shook him to the core, forcing him to confront his mortality at the peak of his career. The treatment was gruelling and the experience was a stark reminder of life's fragility. During this time, Hall continued to work on Dexter, even wearing a wig to maintain his character's signature look. His resilience and dedication were truly remarkable. His battle with cancer was not just a personal struggle, but a testament to his professional commitment. Surviving this ordeal, Hall emerged stronger, with renewed vigour and a deeper appreciation for life. These experiences have undoubtedly shaped Hall's perspective on life and his career. War post Dexter, Hall has continued to showcase his acting prowess. Following the conclusion of the critically acclaimed series, Hall didn't miss a beat, diving headfirst into a variety of new roles that showcased his wide-ranging talents. After eight seasons of playing the complex, morally ambiguous character Dexter Morgan, Hall decided to shift gears. He took on the role of Thomas Newton in the off-Broadway musical Lazarus, a production co-created by the late iconic musician David Bowie. Hall's performance was met with glowing reviews, further proving his versatility as an actor. In the world of television, Hall made a triumphant return with Netflix's Safe, a British television drama series where he played Tom Delaney, a widowed surgeon who goes on a frantic search when his daughter goes missing. His portrayal of a desperate, grieving father was both compelling and emotionally resonant. Hall also starred in In the Shadow of the Moon, a Netflix film that explores the themes of time, fate and obsession. In the film, Hall plays a Philadelphia police officer who becomes obsessed with tracking down a serial killer whose crimes defy explanation. Once again, Hall's performance was met with praise, with critics lauding his ability to bring depth and nuance to his character. But that's not all. Hall returned to the stage in Skittles Commercial, the Broadway musical a one-night-only event that took place on Super Bowl Sunday in 2019. The unique production, which was also a real-life advertisement for Skittles, further displayed Hall's willingness to take on unconventional roles and push the boundaries of his craft. Hall's post-Dexter career has not only been diverse but also successful. His performances across television, film and theatre have been met with critical acclaim, demonstrating his ability to skillfully navigate a variety of roles and genres. His post-Dexter career is a testament to his commitment to his craft, his willingness to take risks and his ability to disappear completely into his characters. Whether he's playing a serial killer, a grieving father or a space alien, Hall brings a depth and complexity to his roles that is truly remarkable. Hall's post-Dexter career has proven his versatility and commitment to his craft. His continued success is a testament to his talent and dedication, 
and it's clear that he's far from done making his mark on the world of entertainment. Over the years, Hall has left a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. His portrayal of complex characters, notably Dexter Morgan, has redefined the boundaries of what mainstream audiences can empathize with. This daring approach has encouraged others in the industry to push beyond conventional norms, exploring diverse characters and narratives. Hall's commitment to his craft is evident in every role he undertakes, infusing each character with depth and authenticity. He has inspired countless aspiring actors with his masterful performances, showing them that the art of acting is not only about embodying a character, but also about revealing the humanity within. Beyond acting, Hall's openness about his personal struggles and health battles has sparked conversations about these topics, challenging societal stigmas and stereotypes. His career, marked by both triumphs and trials, serves as a testament to resilience in the face of adversity. Michael C. Hall's legacy is one of resilience, versatility and undeniable talent. From his early childhood in North Carolina to his rise to stardom, Michael C. Hall's journey is truly inspiring. His dedication to his craft, evident from his formative years, led him to pursue an education in acting, setting the stage for a career that would captivate audiences worldwide. His transition from theatre to television marked a significant turning point, propelling him into the limelight with his unforgettable portrayal of Dexter Morgan. Throughout his career, Hall has demonstrated remarkable versatility, navigating personal struggles and near-death experiences with a resilience that is nothing short of commendable. His post-Dexter projects further underline his unwavering commitment to the arts, while his contributions to the industry continue to inspire and influence others. And so, as we reflect on his journey, we celebrate a man of immense talent, courage and integrity. And that's the life and career of Michael C. Hall, a man who has left a lasting imprint on the world of entertainment. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content.